So we have the typical pronation pattern where the talus goes anteriorly and medially. The tissues along the medial side will end up opening up and stretching. The tissues on the lateral side of the talus will end up constricting. Connective tissue always adapts to its shortest functional length. So if that happens for long enough, we will then get a limitation or a level of stiffness occurring in those affected joints. These techniques are going to open up the limitations. We're literally going to tear apart the restrictions so that we can get the full range of motion restored. Now a key component of improving range of motion is making sure that we don't end up with a loose bag of bones. So it's also important to incorporate some strengthening and stabilizing exercises in the appropriate muscles and the appropriate connective tissues. So let me show you how the techniques actually work and then we'll have a link to show you some of the exercises that we will incorporate to stabilize and to strengthen the area once it has been freed up and the stiffness has been improved. The client is positioned in a prone aspect with the knee bent 90 degrees and the foot and ankle at 90 degrees to the leg. Two hands are used in this technique. The proximal hand is designed to palpate around the subtalar joint. The distal hand applies a leverage force in rotating the subtalar joint through its full range of motion. The proximal hand should be used by placing the middle finger and the forefinger on the medial aspect of the talus and the talonavicular joint. While the foot is being rotated, use the distal aspect of the fingers to sense and measure the quality of movement experienced around the subtalar joint as it rotates through its full range of motion. The key to this technique is to brace the talus and ankle in a strong, stable position. The force is applied with the distal hand, which places the finger and thumb around the lateral borders of the calcaneus. Take up the tension and then apply the force. Stabilizing the proximal hand ensures a concentration of the correct force into the subtalar joint. Use the lateral hand, which is wrapped around the posterior aspect of the calcaneus, to apply a traction or a pulling force, opening up the subtalar joint. The medial hand uses the proximal phalanx of the forefinger to apply a posterolateral direction into the talus. Use the body weight to open up the joint and allow the medial hand to work the talus proximally and posterolaterally. Use the lateral hand to invert the forefoot on the rear foot to maximum resistance. With the medial hand, place the thenar eminence of the thumb directly in contact with the navicular. Take up the tension Make sure the forearms are in a parallel plane with each other. Once the tension is taken up, apply the thrust on the navicular using the forefoot as a brace against the force. 